On average, over 290 drowning fatalities happen per year across Canada. The Great Lakes naturally feel cool year-round, but as the season turns to winter, an unexpected submersion could end fatally. In water temperatures below zero degrees, you may only have about 15 minutes before exhaustion and even unconsciousness sets in. According to the National Center for Cold Water Safety, you should treat any water below 21 degrees Celsius with caution. To save a life, the golden rule is to always wear a PFD, aka a life jacket. And we are gonna tighten it up. Even though you may be a strong swimmer, cold shock can cause a loss of breathing control and alter your blood pressure. A PDF will help keep you afloat, especially in times of panic. But it's not enough just to wear one. Be sure it's properly adjusted and fitted correctly. Always check your local forecast before heading out on the water. And remember, dress for the water temperature, not necessarily the air temperature. Breathe it out, Joseph. This could help limit shock in the event of a submersion. It is recommended to wear a wetsuit or a dry suit if you are on a watercraft in cooler months. Always have a plan in place in case the unfortunate event of a capsize. If you've fallen out of a watercraft, a common misconception is to swim to shore as fast as you can. But in fact, the key to survival is staying afloat and out of the frigid water. If possible, grab onto a vessel or any large debris floating around. This will help prevent energy loss. During high wind events, shorelines may become choppy and waves can ramp up to dangerous levels. Keep pets close and on a leash near shorelines. Monitor children carefully and keep a safe distance away. Use these tips this year to prevent fatal drownings across our Great Lakes.